Yes, guys. Hello. Welcome back to the Once You're In, You're In podcast. We are back again. We keep saying that. But no, this time we will be because we've got, well, we've got two holidays and then we've got some time where we both will be back in normal routine. So um, I've just realised we're almost matching again, grey joggers and, and black top. It just looks the same on there. Yeah, we do actually. Yeah, we look the same. Um, <laughs> you look a lot more tan than me, though. I do need to. I'm going to go on the sunburn after this. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're back. Season three. Welcome, welcome to season three. I What's guess changed since season two. Nothing. It's the exact same. No, season but, two. What what yeah, was passing the season it was two? About six episodes. Wasn't nah, it? I think season one was Zoom. Yeah. Season two was all the ones we've done here. Yeah, yeah. Not on Zoom. Yeah. And then this is season three, which is like post show into off season. Yeah. This year's show is done and dusted. Yeah. We'll probably run this as like season three up until maybe show season again. Yeah. And then that'll be season four. Season four. Where we, we won't do an episode. Mate, the second I prep next, because I'll be the one prepping next, I'm just going to stop doing the podcast like you did. And then you can't say anything. No, it was actually the other way around. So when it was your prep, I was trying to carry on the podcast and you were like, I don't want to do it. For like three weeks. We missed three, I think. Yeah, but you do two. have to realise this is like a 40 minute drive. No, oh, drive. It's a 40 minute drive, 40 yeah. minute drive back. It takes a lot out of your day. This is two minutes from your house. Oh, yeah, but then I could say, mate, be modified. It's an hour away from me, only half an hour from you. It's 40 That's minutes an hour. from me. It's an hour away. Oh, God, hour actually. That's total. different when you're training. Mm. I just say, what's the difference? You're saying that you prefer to train than do the if podcast. If you were to have 80 minutes out of your day on a rest day, yeah. it's. No, I, it takes I'm, a no, lot I'm not, of time I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying that's the case, but. At the same time, when I was like, mate, I'm battered, you were like, let's do the podcast. Meanwhile, you were, didn't mention it at all for about three months. No, I, I kept up with it for a long time. Yeah, up, up until the A1 was the last one that we, like, we kept up until yeah, about maybe a that one few weeks mine. before. And then it was like, yeah. Dead. I think as well, that was more so like, if you think when you were prepping, you didn't have client shows every no. week. Like, I had client shows every weekend. That's why, that's so why it was I like planned it. I was like done by week. the time. Yeah. Yeah. I was into coach mode. I was into fat coach mode after being in an athlete I'm just, mode. Next time I compete, I'm just going to do the shit PCA shows at the start of the year. Yeah. And then put all my clients into the good shows. Yeah. Or you just do the opposite. Just focus yeah. on yourself. Sorry, guys. Put, put you, all the clients you know, into... You can't do that. You WNBF. Do that you're show. not a first timer for WNBF. Ah, not allowed. Or, or, sorry, you're natty, but now you've got to do a PCA show. <laughs> Imagine. That's the only thing, though, with the... With the natty shows. They all are late in the year. There's if like you want to do early. the decent show, yeah. it's like... You're going to be doing it at the end of the year. Yeah. I think next time I compete as well, I'll probably do... Because I want to compete abroad, but I'm not like set on having to do a finals. Mm. You know what I mean? Or yeah. having to do a world or anything. Yeah. I might I just go and do a German show yeah. or a Swiss show or like... Yeah. Maybe just see where Shannon wants to go on holiday. Yeah, just go on out. holiday and be like, I'll just do a show. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. I don't think you can enjoy a holiday and then do a show. Like Depends, I think. I think you can. I think... It depends on how your mindset is and your yeah. outlook on it. I think you could do. I think I definitely could. I, I wouldn't have done this year. No. But I think I could do next time I compete. Yeah. I would have done if I'd have done it at the, the, the same sort of stage that I did the Fitex show. Yeah. But then also you were fatter then. So it's like, it's almost yeah, that's like, what I mean. yeah, like if you can just, handle it. Like if your head's all right, then yeah. If you're doing men's physique. Oh yeah, men's physique, you, you compete year round. <laughs> You, you could. Compete, you I honestly year round. <laughs> yeah, you just stay like. Actually, I don't know, mate. We we could talk about your body weight. You're the same weight as you was for that Fitex show. Now I'm slightly, slightly lighter. <sighs> Somehow not leaner. Oh no, of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so where have we been? What we've been doing? We've been in Vegas. The last one that we did was with yeah. Josh. That should be out by now. Yeah, hopefully if Sam can actually edit them. Apparently the last ones that we've done one. That was yeah, like we've got a month two. Ago. We've got two episodes ready. Yeah. that will be coming out by the time this is out. Okay, that'll be cool. So currently it is the 23rd of November. Thing goes away in two days. We've been away to Vegas. We kind of did a bit of a Vegas wrap Mr. up. Mr. Worldwide. Like, yeah, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. I go away to. Hmm? Mr. World. Mr. World, World yeah. World Natural Bodybuilding Federation medium champion. Yeah. I brought this in just so I could wear it. You're going to put it on? I'm gonna, I'll wear it for the pod. For the whole pod? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know. But right. Even though it was like, I, I, I won out by default. and I'm, I, Realistically, I got beat, but you might as well milk it, Anna. Yeah, yeah. You might as well. Because yeah. next year, I mean, you're not good on me in that camera. Oh, yeah. I don't have one. Fuck. I'm not a British fucking final winner. I just got beat by Axel. You know who we need to get on? We need to get Krogan on. Yep. Congrats, mate. Yeah, Probably really uh, good world win. Yeah. We need to get Jack Eagles on. Yes. Congrats on the pro card. Yep. And then me, Josh, and Jack can all sit over here with our amazing 
accolades, accolades and yeah, they can yeah. just la- look down on you like oh, I know even though mine is I'm, I'm going to take mine because otherwise yeah, I just mate. keep putting myself yeah, down yeah no of course take it it's a win but in my head it's not <laughs> no, but it doesn't feel no because if in reality I said to you before it doesn't make much of a difference no, because you do it for the day. All like, I think is when like if I if, when I see this I'm like yeah but I didn't do it. no but no but I think that as well because you didn't get called out on the date. It's not like that came with a check of like ten grand or cool. you actually got like a legit. It's literally just the difference between a gold and a silver. It means nothing in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I think that's good though. But yeah, because like I think a lot of people would be like oh I won that means that I'm. So much better than I thought I was. The like, physique stays the same yeah, as we said. I, yeah. I, I still wasn't happy with how I looked really on that day. Yeah, I still could have been a lot better. Yeah, still got beat on the day. Still got beat, but somehow came away the with guy, gold. So the guy that came third, Rob. Yeah, yeah I know Rob. Yeah, I see him. I follow him. Yeah, yeah, yeah me, me and Rob, best mates. He uh, he came second in the worlds lightweight. Shit, the, the guy that the won must have been awful. It must have been worse than WBS. Yeah, he's good, mate. This, these, this UK the FBA, pretty good. Finn looked like Finn was Finn, Finn looked his best, but got beat by two better dudes. Yeah. The BMBF, he bottled because there would have been some freaky black dudes who would just been yeah, stupidly. I think, full. Who won the BMBF? I thought WMBF was supposed to be the peak of bodybuilding for Natties. It's not. It clearly. is at the. Well, yeah, it I think was, it is. It was yeah. at the finals. Yeah, I think it is. Standard at the finals yeah. was a joke. We'll probably come on to that. Sorry, Steph. Yeah, Steph. Hope you're not watching. <laughs> um, these are only my thoughts, not Finn's. But no, the, the the BMBF, I'd have ended up being a lightweight on the day because of how they changed it. Okay. Um, but still, standard was good. That was what Niall did. Uh, yeah. And, and the standard was very, very good. Yeah. I think I'd have done well to get... I think I'd have been pushing top three, top five. Yeah. Did you see the um the overall lineup? The two guys with like their rear double bicep shot? Oh, this is oh. you're on about the world. Oh, the yeah, WNBF. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on about the BMBF stuff. Oh, okay. I'm on about the BMBF British. But yeah, yeah. we'll come on to the WMBF world. That look ridiculous. What we'll do is, this will just be like a catch-up episode. Yeah. We'll do a separate Q&A episode because we've got some questions. So thank yeah. you, guys. Um, but yeah, this will just be like a catch-up and then we'll chat about the recent shows. Yeah. Because obviously we were at the Natural Olympia, so we can give you a good review of the Natural Olympia. Because we didn't really, we did a bit in the yeah. Josh episode. Uh, and then we can chat about the WMBF Worlds because that was silly, standard wise. So anybody who's enhanced to actually is into proper bodybuilding switch off. No, we can chat about the the Olympia being in yeah, Vegas. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, that's in Vegas next year, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So first topic, what we're we going for? Catch up. Where where are you at? And then where am I? At? <laughs> fat apparently. Finn said I'm fat. Um, my face is very. My fat. face is very fat. It's it's really weird because like my face Not weird, goes. It's just that you have muscle and you don't have muscle in your face. Well, not a lot anyway true but then also no but also my face face goes completely different when i diet like sam said it like he said he was like i saw a real pop-up of you the other day he goes you legitimately look like a different person and i don't think like my face looks that fat if you were to see me now it's because you see me for six months a year my face is stupidly skinny so then i look somewhat normal slash a little bit more chubby it's the same for anyone and it's like jesus christ bro your face is fat but it's like i feel like if you would never have seen me before you wouldn't look at me and go fucking hell your face is fat it's just no but that's the same with anyone like even when i was peak off season you wouldn't look yeah. at me and go oh my god he's a massive fat dude no you'd be like oh he's, he's just a bit big chunky bit guy like just a bit yeah a bit of a vitamin c what manipulation no, like you, so, f- you forget what the general population is yeah like i look at myself now peak off season and think oh my god like that is horrendous but oh, yeah, then yeah. it's really not to like the naked eye to, oh, no, to no, the norm no, no. normal person yeah that's not either seen you that lean or isn't into bodybuilding it's just yeah. like it's kind of like a normal looking guy yeah no exactly or fucking slightly. jack fucking jack dude he's jack dude massive he's guy been, he's been bulking up bro okay. <laughs> he's been bulking up so uh for me i have been bulking up uh 123 and a half kilos like 272 273 like pretty much my lifetime heaviest like i saw this body weight for like a couple of days before well like this time no it was way longer than this time last year i started prep at 100 and like 18 kilos so i'm actually heavier than my prep starting weight but that also wasn't peak off season weight so pretty much like lifetime heaviest um still in like an all right spot condition wise like i'm definitely not like fat but i'm definitely not at the point where i need to be fatter like i think it's one of those yeah, where you're, like i said you're that you're at that point now where you're big enough to never really look that fat no no like so oh, I could train in a tank top year round and you see my arms, yeah. see my delts and go, oh shit, he's still in good yeah. shape. It's like when you yeah. look at any 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 bodybuilder in there, like any good bodybuilder in their off season. You said I'm a good bodybuilder, thanks mate. No, but I mean like, let's say look at, like if you were to look at any of the top, top bodybuilders yeah, yeah. who are big, yeah, yeah. none of them ever look really fat, no, even no. when they are really fat yeah. for them. 
yeah. because they just hold that much muscle. Yeah. Even if you're forty percent body fat, if you hold like stupid yeah. amount of muscle, it's yeah. not going to look that fat. Yeah. Compared to having less muscle, so yeah. that's kind of where you're at. Yeah. So it's one of those where it's like appetite's definitely starting to like kick back and tell me to piss off, which is normal. You're not going to be able to get to like all time heavy body weights and be like your appetite be absolutely firing. Uh, but food's like pretty high. But it's I say it's been pretty. It's been pretty high for a long period of time. Uh, body weight's slowly been trickling up. Um, I realistically don't think I'm going to gain much more weight from where I'm at now. Not that I really need to. Um, it's one of those where I go away to New York in like seven days, and then that'll be away for like twelve days. So that'll be higher expenditure steps being higher like i'll still be training my cardio will still be in but like the logistics of me eating like five and a half to six thousand calories a day while also main t- like probably eating more based off movement and just general activity i'm probably gonna drop a bit of weight you and then to actually finishing your meals yeah i'll hopefully try and finish my meals because i came back from vegas like three guys, and a half kilos reese down. can't eat I've, I've, been, I've been pushing up too hard guys it's so every hard. meal we went out for he left his food no i, I ate like 90 he, buy, he buys two meals thinking he's big and then leaves half of the second one every time. No, I, I, I ate like 80%. No, you left a 80, lot. 70. You left quite Mate, a lot what, Okay, what, of what meal? What meal? The nacho daddy you left yeah, a good that amount. Yeah, but we, we ate, you ate a stupid yeah. amount. You ate a stupid amount. We all did, but you especially. <laughs> that was like, we, we got a bit too much food. And then the girl was like, you're not going to finish this. So we were like, yeah, we will. And, and I, I was like, I'm going to show And it. I actually know like when I'm just eating like tortilla bread that it's just so like greasy. I'm just like, I'm not going to eat this. I'll eat the meat. I'll eat the chicken. I'm not going to have like the last bit of a tortilla, like bit of bread. And then the other meals, after that, Finn was like out to get me. If because I left one grain know, of rice, yeah, he'd be like, is, you're not finishing that, bro. You, you should have... Instead of buying two main meals, you'd have been better off getting a main and like two sides, which is what like us lot did. But yeah. because you're big, you have to go in and think, I'm going to get two. <laughs> they don't have it's just to. It's an ego thing. It's all I'm going to buy two meals and then just leave one. <laughs> leave half of one I'm, every time. I've never in my entire life thought, I'm big, I'm going to get two meals. <laughs> yeah, I no, see. I just think I'm, I'm literally eating four meals a day, so I need to get two meals and I'll do what I can. I'm, I'm paying but the same. You don't need to get two meals. Like in your head, you need to get two meals because you're missing two meals. But yeah. you can easily make up for those calories from a meal and two sides. No, you but do if know I'm that it's those not calories. the same two meals no, no, when you go out. No, but I'm not very, I don't like much like variants so if i see two things there's a high likelihood that i'm not going to see three or four things that i go yeah i like that so if i see two things i'll just, go, I'll just get them two and if i can't finish them i don't think that anything different was about shit at cheesecake factory it looked shit that you got yeah it was wank that i didn't finish but i can understand i didn't yeah, finish it. that was shit it looked awful so yeah anyway the fourth thing keeps mugging me off about my my food um food tie training's really good um like strongest i've ever been across all areas the only thing i can't really do is a chest press which is a bit weird i can like press lifetime best above my head but i literally can't press horizontally really due to my shoulder which is weird to think i can shoulder press um but everything else is, is all good um so most likely like my my push-up ends uh when it comes to like a ped standpoint in january so that be literally like perfect time wise with how things are so if you think about obviously where we are we've got like six weeks now till the new year so that'll be two weeks away we've got christmas realistically i'll probably gain weight when i'm in the uk and then drop weight off when i'm away and i'll probably i'd like to say if i'm like around this sort of weight to maybe 100, like 123 to 125 that'd be cool reset pull back 10 ish kilos we get both agreed but i looked like i looked very sensitive and like responsive like low 110 like in the teens of like the yeah, 100 so like 10 to 115 yeah to get back 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 down to there and then push up to probably like 130 ish so if i can be like five kilos four kilos heavier and then i'll see where that kind of puts me but i I reckon that would be like because i'd be close to 300 pounds and i reckon i'd be in probably similar condition with a few extra kilos and then realistically like with how i've like how i've handled everything post-show and like somewhat rebound but it's not really i don't think if i was to diet like from one let's say high let's say 130 i don't think i'd need to pull off that much i'd have to pull off a good amount of weight still but i don't think if i was to look at me now i don't think i've got like 20 plus kilos of body fat on me like i feel like if i was to go into let's say if i was to give myself time let training just drive up and get good i reckon i'd be in a very good spot to probably be a fair bit heavier than last year so that'd be good or this year yeah i think as well how you manage the prep and not going into it thinking you're going to do men's physique yeah. and then having to dig for bodybuilding like it's oh, going to yeah, be yeah. much it's going to be it'd be, a complete, it yeah, it'd be a completely like, different look yeah completely different and i think just even if i was to prep now i reckon like the look would be con- like i reckon it would be like be shit, very you actually look a hell of a lot knowing better. that the goal is bodybuilding yeah so i reckon that'd be quite exciting but that'd be said still got to grow and i feel like nowadays it's always fucking like people when are you competing wednesday when's that and it's like you've got to spend time growing like 
realistically, if I was to compete as an open bodybuilder, I would still be pretty small. Like I'd outshape and outstructure most people because I'm wide. And I've got like, but then at the same time, I still got flaws to my physique because I'm young. And I'm not expecting to be like a lights out. Like, I don't think, oh, the first bodybuilding show that I'm going to do, I'm going to win a fucking overall. I'd be like, I reckon I'd be, if I was to do like a PCL FitX, I reckon I should win most bodybuilding shows the next time I compete. But I'm not expecting to be a lights out IFBB pro. Like, I'm not going to be 125 kilos in stage condition. Give me two to three years. I reckon potentially I could be. But I think for now, like, there's not many 24-year-olds who are walking around at 125 kilos in okay nick. So I just look at that and think, I just need time. And my training's, like, very good, so that'll drive into my physique. And I also look at it and think, like, there is, like, a part where success does leave clues, where it's, like, there's not many people that are as strong as me. There's not, and the people who are usually have a fucking hell of a lot of muscle, but they also have a whole lot of time. You can get really strong, but how long have you actually been doing that? So me just bent rowing a lot deadlifting a lot, pressing a lot, that was showing my physique. And it did over the short period of time that I've had previously, let's say prior to my first prep. Already but is doing. I need more. Yeah. So yeah, time spent eating, time spent training, time spent growing, improving, all that jazz as it should be eating. in a gaining phase. Eating especially, finishing my meals. Thanks what for have you eaten today? Have you been all right? Yeah, I've managed I've, I've managed uh, two meals and I've finished them all. Thanks. Have you, got, have you had two meals? No, I've had one. I've so. only had one. Yeah, so I was going to say, I've only had one meal. <laughs> I've had six <laughs> meals. It's 12.30. I've had, I've had eight meals, eight meals deep. Yeah, to be fair, what time was it's your first 12. meal? Yeah. Uh, 10 day. So, I eat after this. Cool. So, I am uh, the opposite of, of all of that. I'm small. Uh, coming off the back of the prep. Skinny fat. Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I'm, I'm basically just skinny fat and... Uh, Ready to ready to actually diet feel okay again. <laughs> diet again? Nah, to be fair, I'm I, I'm in a I'm in an okay spot. Yeah, I'm not in an amazing spot just based on coming off the prep and then basically having Vegas like two three weeks later. It's one of those like I could have easily been in Vegas. I could have been like right now I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat that. But like it's so it's I'm not going to say it's a once in a lifetime trip no, but, but like we're yourself. not going to be there yeah. a lot there's a lot of like nice places to go for food senoritas yeah senoritas he still says it yeah. wrong every time um and also like with Josh finishing his show like I, I don't want to be like right you guys go for food and I'll do this or yeah. I'll bring my meal prep like sounds it makes it out like as if we went crazy in Vegas like we literally had our normal meals pretty much throughout the day meal mm. 1 meal 2 meal 3 and then had a, an evening meal. But I think if you were in any other phase other than post prep, that's sound, that's normal. Like, yeah. If I was to have a client go on holiday and they'd be like, hey, mate, I ate on plan for all my meals, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. go out and get the a thing meal. Is, like, it makes. <laughs> food is food. People like go, like, have a look on my. I put a post on the other day in terms of how I'm looking. Like, I've not, I'm definitely not in a bad spot. I've no, not gone not. and gained 40 pounds or anything crazy post show. Mm. I'm literally. In terms of where I'd like to be, I'm probably the same weight that I'd like to be, but I'd like to be looking better and I'd like my baseline food to be higher. Yeah. But it's not based on the fact that I went to Vegas. Yeah. Like that's literally it. Body weight over that week went from like 167 to 171. So I gained more than I'd like to have gained while I was there. I'd have ideally been like 168, 169. Yeah. But I had a good time and training was good. And to be fair, like... If anything, it really helped with like my food focus because it was like I was in Vegas. There was a stupid amount of things available. Once I'd already had like Shake Shack, once I'd already had yeah. In and Out, it was like it's just food. In and Out shit. Yeah, In and Out was pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. It's just food. But yeah, like basically, it kind of helped me get past that bit sort of during the the post show phase where you're constantly thinking about food because you're never going to be full. You're never going to sort of satiate that hole where it's like, even though, even if your stomach feels full, it's like, oh, yeah, well, I could still have that. I could still yeah. eat that. Like, But yeah, I'd, I'd say the days when I ate a lot in Vegas were the Nacho Daddy Day. Uh, and then there was a day where we had La La Noodle and we had some cookies and ice cream yeah. that we'd already bought. Yeah. But even then it wasn't like, Oh, no. Finn, what the fuck? Stop! No, 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 like you know, what I mean, it wasn't, or, or, and the same with any of us. Like yeah. especially you, you can't eat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. So it was, it wasn't like I've let myself go in any way or anything like that. And I'm not going to like, uh, no matter how fucked I may feel or how hungry you are, or anything like I never let myself get to that point. Like no, no matter what, I know that I've got that self control. Um, but yeah, we had a really good time in Vegas. Training was really good. 
training since then has been really good. Like I, I feel I feel way better than I did before we went. Yeah, uh, I feel so much no, better. Of course, I'd hope so. Yeah. Physically, um, what I'm like four and a half weeks post show now. I'd say give me another, probably give me another four, another like say the same time again and i reckon by that point i'll be like okay cool i'm feeling like yeah. pretty much back to quote unquote normal like we say you know there isn't really a certain point where you'll know that um but i think this holiday will help a deload will help christmas as well yeah right. i think the main thing for me is just like getting in like regaining that routine and not yeah. that i've lost routine in any way but when you come out of that point where you're literally like i was digging so much to the point where it was like i felt like i just was so efficient with everything yeah. when you take your foot off the gas a little bit then i almost feel like i'm slacking yeah. and i hate that feeling so like now the fact that i'm doing less cardio less steps like i almost don't like it yeah. like because it's not the norm because it was yeah. the norm for so long so it's kind of just getting that into my head still trying to like i still find that there's times in that in the days where i'm like really highly strung if you like hmm. so i'm like i need to do this need to do that need to do that. and it's like and yeah. then i realized like just fucking chill out yeah, a little bit yeah. like, i realized that quite a lot yeah. because i was in that mentality for so long yeah. um so i'm just trying to get used to like relaxing a little bit with that but i feel good visually i don't hate it don't love it but i think that's even if i was in an amazing position post show you're still going to compare yourself to stage condition yeah, yeah definitely. like so even if i'd put on what four i'm 14 pounds up from a lightest seven pounds up from the WMBF stage weight. Yeah. Even if I was, let's say, that or and I hadn't been to Vegas and my food was higher and I was training even better and so on and so forth, I'm still not gonna have the same level of detail that I had seven slash fourteen pounds ago. Yeah. Right. And that's fine. I'm not supposed to. Um so yeah, it's just getting that into your head. I say the same things to my clients, you know, those that are obviously just coming out of a prep, it's like trying to not compare yourself to it's like you almost need to find that middle ground because I think a lot of people still try and compare themselves to stage condition and then get a bit like frustrated by the fact that they're not that lean Yeah. and then you have the other side of the coin where people go oh fuck it I'm not competing now so it doesn't yeah, matter get fat. And it's yeah. like, well it does matter because you don't want to be spending time dieting again anytime soon Yeah. like you've dieted for long enough like yes. you've probably dieted for six months minimum maybe four to eight depending on the individual and the, the phase and the prep and the standard that you're at whatever it may be how much you had to lose but if you've dieted for four to eight months that's longer than any diet should be mm. realistically unless it's like a let's say a heavily overweight like morbidly obese individual yeah. trying to lose a lot of weight realistically if you're trying to be a bodybuilder you shouldn't be dieting for any more than that in one go unless it is a prep like that is the only time that it would make sense to do that Imagine if I was to say to you, like, randomly in off-season, when I wasn't prepping or anything, I think I'm going to do an eight-month diet. You'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, <laughs> I think I'm just going to pull back for like, eight months. Yeah, it makes no sense. So yeah. if you aren't careful and post-show, you go in with that mindset of, oh, fuck it, I'm not competing anymore. Yeah. Let's just let's just relax. aren't on me anymore. I can, yeah. I can eat, yeah. Yeah, people so, do. It's easy done. Like I can see how people do it. But if you do that, again, if your goal is to be a better bodybuilder, you're just delaying that process of, like making the most of the next gaining phase yeah like if you if you are dieting again after let's say even within six months of a prep yeah. i'd say you, you you're not wasting time but you've definitely not made the most of that oh no definitely like i don't want to have to diet again for at least another at least 12 months yeah from post show yeah probably closer to 18 yeah like and then it'll be like right cool i've, I've had that period i've had a really productive push-up post show then i'll pull back for two three months yeah and then another maybe nine to twelve months and then it might be the case of it's a pre-prep diet again or it's another mini cut like it definitely shouldn't be that you get you finish your prep in october and by january you're dieting again no. like well, it's just me, not healthy yo-yo yeah but by that point do. Like, like, yeah. it's, they put on a bit of body fat they then think oh, i need to get leaner and it's a constant influx of just up and down up and down and like you almost just want to stick stick to a path and just be consistent with it you know yeah, it's even if that's holding. Even if you've like, let's say yeah. for example, if you're watching this and you finish your prep, like let's say at finals, so what, like five weeks ago, six weeks ago for some, like 
even if you fu- fucked it a bit, just get to a point and then just hold. Like, let's say, for example, you yeah. hold your weight now for three months. That's better than thinking, okay, well, at least in January I'll diet because it's just going to be counterintuitive. Yeah. You Like, the amount of times that people will have a shit fucking month or two after a prep and then they'll instantly be like, well, I'm going to diet again. It's like, no, just hold and stop being an yeah, idiot last and actually regain some food control because it's only going to mess your mind up as well. You go from being like a, in this survival mode of dieting, prep, etc. You then eat loads of like crap and then you're only then going to put your mind in more of a stress because you're like right time for more restriction which again it's it's so it's counterintuitive no it's not it does show like it's in terms of like the post show i i I always say this to my clients like the post show phase you have to show way more discipline than the actual prep like way 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 more like is he? I don't want to uh, say no, I think easy, it is. No, and like, also like you, no, I think it is when you've got it's a show. Easy day. When you've got a yeah. goal, yeah, you've got that time point of like I've got a show here, and I know that I need to be in shape because I'm going to be yeah. standing on stage in my pants. <laughs> like you've almost got that. It's that level of respect pressure, for yourself. That pressure. Yeah. That yeah. That that level of respect. Like afterwards, like you say, people almost just hide. Yeah. Um, which is easy done. Like I've not posted my physique as much on Instagram because yeah. it's not as as appealing when yeah. you're looking at it compared to stage stage condition yeah. like it's very easy to shy away and be like all right i'll just sort of feel sorry for myself and eat as much as i want and yeah. oh, i can't be asked my cardio so i won't do it and yeah. before you know it you're looking at yourself thinking fucking hell like yeah. i've let myself go and then your instinct then is well i've let myself go i'll just diet and get back into like how i was yeah, in prep yeah. it's like no you really don't need to do no, that you need to thing. regain the the routine and the tendencies but you do not need to regain the deficit yeah that's the last thing you want yeah so yeah um th- that's kind of like where your head and my head is at post show i feel good i'm happy with how i'm managing it vegas came at a, like maybe not the best of times i was saying to josh it came, probably came at a better time for josh because it was like post show yeah you've got loads of things that you want to try yeah. let's have these few things yeah. enjoy it put on a few kilos which you needed to do anyway yeah come home regain routine you're back yeah. home whereas for me it was like i had that initial post-show period yeah. going out for a couple of meals with shannon obviously i went out for food after the show yeah. then when i got the win a few days later me yeah. and shannon went out for food again even then i was still i think i was probably five or so pounds up something yeah. like that so it wasn't crazy and then uh between then and vegas everything was good like i was just working food up and then with vegas it was like it's almost like that awkward time yeah, for me I, I went to lanzarote six weeks after i finished morocco and that is going to be perfect like, yeah, i feel like perfect. i'm like, going to manage food easily even though yeah. it's all inclusive but like yeah. all i'm thinking about is like, oh cool i get to have loads of nice fruit and yeah. good meat yeah. that they have there yeah. i'm not thinking oh they do this dessert or that dessert yeah. although they do do nice pancakes in the morning like moroccan pancakes 100 pancake challenge yeah yeah. get Sam to come over and film it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no, I feel like you almost need that like Im- immediately post show you need that sort of routine being established and then like I, I always kind of cringe slightly if it's like somebody's going away like a week afterwards because I'm like oh you're fucked like you're fucked obviously I like, wasn't in a turn down Vegas no no you wouldn't but it's like in my opinion like give yourself a good couple of a weeks month. yeah a month minimum to set foundations and then you can go away you'll be a bit more normal mentally and then it'll be a bit like it'll be a bit easier i went to alicante with sanaya uh, a week okay. after i finished prep but i was shitting myself for like the entirety that i was there and couldn't eat you know so what? i've that got was a theory yeah. so both of your preps you've got really ill directly after yeah i think you're just overeating and making yourself sick yeah, well i've got bulimia and i've got anorexia yeah, yeah. well to be fair i stayed re- i stayed way too lead because i had the holidays so i was like so yeah. i go on holiday like a month. yeah so i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna stay i'm gonna keep on it like I, that's probably why i didn't feel like i was saying this tonight i probably didn't feel normal till maybe about six to eight weeks ago because i was probably like i say probably in my head i was like i've got this holiday coming up so i'm gonna restrict not restrict food but i definitely i was eating like yeah, 500 yeah, carb at 105 kilos body weight yeah. but it's like in reality for me like i lose weight on that usually i was losing weight doing that and a fucking off my yeah. meal in prep so it's like it was one of those where again i actually think from a psychological standpoint it helped because it definitely eased off the gas it wasn't like you're done and i actually quite liked it and it's probably the reason why i'm in the spot i am in now but then also i think long term i probably would have like because like for example like my sex drive's probably only been normal for the last like six weeks and i finished prep like seven well, months ago i think a lot of that is probably that you're back at peak body weight yeah true so it's like this is it's not like homeostasis it's quite heavy for you yeah. but it's like your body's been here before yeah and so now it's like you're getting naughty. back up to that yeah. it's like oh cool i'm kind of back to where i've been in the past yeah and 
This is why I would say above, you're not yeah. you're not trying to be res- restrictive from that. Yeah. So I think I need to get back up to two thirty five. You need to get quick. to two thirty five. Yeah, quick. To really be fair, quick, Shannon quick. said the other day it was funny. I was I was in the shower and she was like we were chatting, and um, what did she say? Oh, she said she was like, oh yeah, I've been feeling like this because I've been start I've started taking the pill again. Yeah. And I went, I was, I went, oh, have you started taking the pill thinking that my dick will work? And she was like, well, you never know, like maybe. And like her face, like I don't think she didn't think I was looking at her. Yeah. But like she was like, well, you never know. <laughs> and like her face <laughs> dropped, and I was like, you do know I can see you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it probably won't. I'm sorry, it probably won't. Like, there's not been any inkling. We need an update every podcast. We're like, Finn, yeah. how many erections you had this week? Zero. That being said, like <laughs> in the night and waking up, like yeah. there's definitely more there. More life, but yeah, it's there's not like, it, yeah, it's just again, it's more so like we've always said, it's more the energy side of things. Yeah. Like, still gets towards the end of the day, and I'm like, I just can't wait to get to bed. You yeah. know, yeah, I mean? it's like my body's still just tired and fatigued. It yeah. takes time. It's definitely nowhere near as bad as it was, which is, is great. And again, it's not going to be because I'm not doing anywhere near as many steps or as much cardio. Um, you know, but like, yeah, it's it, it takes time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Shannon. Um, but yeah, I can't, how do we get onto that? I don't know. I don't know. Do you want to wrap oh, it, it up? Was you and saying, get into the... saying six weeks ago? Yeah. When your sex drive came back? Yeah, six, and then just ten times a day since. Yeah. Yeah, ten times in the last six weeks. Yeah, I tend to, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 60 times. Oh, I saw and I are limping around V modified yesterday. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, right. Yeah, right. Do you want to wrap this up and then we'll do, yeah, like 40 minutes, 30 minutes of questions? Yeah. Sound? Right. That's that, guys. Um, 121, 122. I think that's episode 122. Just while, yeah. while we're here, just quickly, um, as you can see, Conte. I have now been sponsored by Conte. So the podcast is technically yeah. effectively sponsored by Conte. We yeah. are in the process of getting a neon sign. Yeah. They they're doing us one apparently. Really? Uh, yeah. So they, I messaged them about it today. Okay. Um so yeah, they're gonna we we'll, we'll probably look at like putting that up here somewhere. Yeah. Um we don't want it to clash with our sign. Yeah, no, our neon sign. We'll, we'll put it over on that wall where we can't see it. Yeah. No, we'll put it we will have it. Um so yeah, if you're wanting any Conte products, then we don't have a code for the podcast, but no. you can use either Fin10 or Reese 10 yeah. Or, if you, ugh, I know it's too late now, if you heard about the Black Friday thing, it's Fin30, yeah, we'll, Reese 30 we'll, we'll, but this we'll, is coming out. We'll put, yeah. This will be out this after Black Friday. After. So you missed out on the Black Friday, so, so guys, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, But the supplements are very good. We actually, I do mean that, the supplements are fantastic. And the new way is very good. Oh, yes. Uh, also, let's try and get up to 450 subscribers. Yep. That would be much appreciated. And 800 Spotify followers. If you're not following us on Spotify, click follow. And if you're not subscribed, click in the bottom right corner. Make sure you subscribe. Cool. Right. That's that, guys. Thanks as always. We are back. Yeah. Catch you soon. See you later.